Using CNG to power engines may be due to you, but it actually dates back to 1860. Beginning in the 1930s, natural gas lost momentum as a transportation fuel as crude oil gained popularity. Interest in CNG was resurrected briefly during the oil shortages of the 1960s and 70s, and again in the early 90s, but then tapered off as oil prices dropped for a while. In Europe, South America, Asia, and other parts of the world, it's a different story. Compressed natural gas has been a significant vehicle fuel source since World War II. Worldwide, almost nine million drivers have embraced NGVs. One big reason, in a word, clean. Well, if you take a traditional vehicle and you convert it to a natural gas or an NGV, you can see emissions reductions that can be dramatic. For example, nitrogen oxide emissions can be reduced as much as 70%, carbon monoxide emissions 50%, methane gases as much as 30 to 40 percent, and finally carbon dioxide, which is a primary mover in greenhouse gas development, can be reduced as much as 20 percent.